Hi. So today's video is a follow-up video to the one I posted yesterday about why learning to orgasm is so, like learning to orgasm through penetration is a really important thing for women. Um, there was a whole bunch of things that I had thought about afterwards too that I wanted to go into and, but I came across this video from, um, Dr. Brenda, I can't remember her name right now off the top of my head. I found her on Instagram, IGTV, and she had posted this video about spirituality and sensuality. And it, it was like she was echoing the words in my head that I um, either thought or have said or talked about. And in particular, it was once again talking about how um, women, I don't... It's, I don't know where it comes from. Maybe it's, you know, more generational or a cultural thing. Because I know um, so many women, they, they, they have this, like, belief that enjoying sex is wrong. Or that you're just not supposed to want to have sex. Or you're not supposed to like having sex. And it's just such a... Uh, it's not like I've ever heard anyone say that, maybe. But I think there's just so many jokes and innuendos and about women faking it. And once again, in my um, group that I'm in on Facebook, someone had posted about why women fake it. And I admit I have faked a gazillion orgasms in my life. And it wasn't, I, it wasn't because I thought I was doing any harm. And in fact, it had everything to do with my own insecurities. I just, you know, a lot of times I would just be faking it because I didn't even really want to be there. And I figured if I could... I fake it, they can be done with it, and we can just be, be done. Like, I enjoyed the intimacy part of the sex. I just didn't want to, I don't know, I just didn't relax enough. I mean, thinking back about it, I guess most of the time I just didn't relax enough and wasn't in touch with my body to even get there, so why even try? Um, that was a lot of the reasons for faking, and, you know, now I would never fake an orgasm because I know so much more, and if... I, I do. I will admit there was about a, there was a couple times about a year and a half ago, a year ago, where I I caught myself faking an orgasm with someone, and I realized it was because I didn't really want to be there, and I didn't feel like having a discussion about you know why I wasn't going to be able to orgasm, and instead of speaking my truth and stopping what I was doing and not having sex with this person, I just continued on with it, and it was just easier to fake an orgasm than it was to speak up in that moment. And I thought about it later, about why I did fake that orgasm, and I realized I don't have good open communication with that person, and they had done, you know, small behaviors that made me not trust them, and so because of that, I didn't want to open up. Um, and I think that happens a lot to a lot of women. Um, I can't, I mean, guys don't fake orgasms, so <laughs> I think that it kind of belongs to women. Um, anyways, they... I think women, you know, we're just not comfortable speaking up or we feel that there's shame or that we're not supposed to enjoy. And then, you know, once again, kind of goes back into what I do, which is helping. I think a lot of women don't even think they can orgasm, so why even bother? Or they think they can only orgasm a certain way, and so why bother? Um, and so I wanted to, you know, kind of bring that up right now. And then back to what... Um, Dr. Brenda had said about um, this connection between spirituality and sensuality and how there's just such a disconnect with so many women about, you know, you can't really get into your body and feel your body until you're really at home with who you are. It's really hard to orgasm with another person if you're not comfortable with who you are. And I'm not saying it's impossible. And some women really are built better um, biologically to have orgasm, vaginal orgasms easier. Um, some women require a tremendous amount of clitoral stimulation in order to get there. Um, there there's biological reasons uh, as to why uh, some women can orgasm easier than others. A lot of it has to do with like the, the distance between where the clitoral um, hood is and the vaginal opening because if it's really if it's a lot farther away, that means the nerves are spread out farther, and that actually the nerve clusters are further up, and so they're just a little bit harder to reach. Um, but it is still possible to get there, and that's what I help women discover is how to find out where their G spot is and how to um, not just their G spot but their E spot and their O spot because those orgasms are usually some are easier to get to if your G spot is farther up, then the A spot or O spot is easier to have an orgasm that way. 
But um, once again, bringing it back to Dr. Brenda and the connecting the spirituality and sensuality, I think that whatever you believe, um, whether you believe in God or not, or universe or divine or, or nothing at all, it the spirituality aspect is about um, who you are as a person, you know, that, that, that brain, that, that little voice inside of you and getting that voice to connect with your body. And I think that is what so many women are lacking. And that's actually one of the things that I, I do help women with. And I think it's so important because um, that is, you know, you live with your body every day and you get to walk around with your body every day and you get to experience joy and happiness and, and orgasms with your body if you let it. And I think that connecting with yourself is super important. And I, if, you know, I think I come across a lot of women who didn't know, don't know how to connect to their body. I didn't know how to connect to my body, but luckily I learned uh, techniques and tips and tricks. And now I know how to be present in my body and feel my body and, and enjoy myself. So yeah, <laughs> I guess that's, I guess that's where I'm leaving it today. Hope you have a great one. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Bye.